So you've already finished talking to the crew, huh? <laughs> I thought it would take you a while longer. Uh, you sound confident, but don't underestimate the shield of the crux. Gotta admit, though, I like your attitude, kid. Okay, let's get started. First of all, life on the sea isn't always plain sailing. Injuries and illnesses happen all the time. But what is the single biggest danger facing crew members? Hmm? Is that your final answer? <laughs> all right, on to the second question. As you've just learned, the fleet plots its route using nautical charts. The charts used by the Crux have additional charts attached. The supplementary chart has lots of lines in various colors for added reference. What is the purpose of these lines? Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, last question. On longer voyages, we have to be especially careful to avoid certain weather hazards that pose a threat to the integrity of the ship and the lives of the crew. For example, water spouts. So my question is, how can we reliably predict water spouts so we can avoid them? Okay, those are all my questions. Do you want to know how you did? Congratulations, you... Uh, wait a second, you didn't pass. Were my questions too difficult? Hmm, they didn't seem to be all that hard. Did you get them wrong on purpose, or...? Ah, just kidding, I know you wouldn't do that. I guess you're just not really suited for life on the sea. In that case, how about we take a trip back to Liue Harbor? Looks like you and the sea are not made for each other. Dry land is where you really come into your own. I've actually been hoping for the chance to give you an insider look at how some of the Crux's important business is conducted. <laughs>